a tuple is an ordered list of elements. In set theory, an ordered n tuple is a sequence of elements, where is a non negative integer. There is only one zero tuple, an empty sequence. An tuple is defined inductively using the construction of an ordered pair. Tuples are usually written by listing the elements within parentheses and separated by commas. For example, denotes a 5 tuple. Sometimes other delimiters are used, such as square brackets or angle brackets. Braces are almost never used for tuples, as they are the standard notation for sets. Tuples are often used to describe other mathematical objects, such as vectors. In computer science, tuples are directly implemented as product types in most functional programming languages. More commonly, they are implemented as record types, where the components are labeled instead of being identified by position alone. This approach is also used in relational algebra. Tuples are also used in relation to programming the semantic web with resource description framework or RDF. Tuples are also used in linguistics and philosophy. Etymology, the term originated as an abstraction of the sequence, single, double, triple, quadruple, quintuple, sextuple, septuple, octuple, neurotuple, where the prefixes are taken from the Latin names of the numerals. The unique zero a euro tuple is called the null tuple. A one a euro tuple is called a singleton, a two a euro tuple is called an ordered pair and a three a euro tuple is a triple or triplet. N can be any non-negative integer. For example, a complex number can be represented as a two a euro tuple, a quaternion can be represented as a four a euro tuple, an octonian can be represented as an 8 a euro tuple and a sedonian can be represented as a 16 a euro tuple. Although these uses treat a euro tuple as the suffix, the original suffix was a euro players in triple, or decuple. This originates from a medieval Latin suffix a euro plus related to Greek a euro i euro iia, which replaced the classical and late antique a euro plex, as in duplex. Names for tuples of specific lengths, Properties, the general rule for the identity of two tuples is, if and only if, thus a tuple has properties that distinguish it from a set. A tuple may contain multiple instances of the same element, so, tuple, but set. Tuple elements are ordered, tuple, but set. A tuple has a finite number of elements, while a set or a multis it may have an infinite number of elements. Definitions there are several definitions of tuples that give them the properties described in the previous section. Tuples as functions, and tuple can be regarded as a function, f, whose domain is the tuple's implicit set of element indices, x, and whose codomain, y, is the tuple's set of elements. Formally, where tuples as nested ordered pairs, another way of formalizing tuples is as nested ordered pairs. This approach assumes that the notion of ordered pair has already been defined. Thus a two-tuple, the zero-tuple is represented by the empty set. And tuple, with, can be defined as an ordered pair of its first entry and an tuple. This definition can be applied recursively to the tuple. Thus, for example, a variant of this definition starts peeling off elements from the other end, the zero-tuple is the empty set. Four. This definition can be applied recursively. Thus, for example, tuples as nested sets, using Kuratowski's representation for an ordered pair, the second definition above can be reformulated in terms of pure set theory, the zero tuple is represented by the empty set. Let be an tuple, and let. Then. In this formulation, relational model, in database theory, the relational model uses a tuple definition similar to tuples as functions, but each tuple element is identified by a distinct name, called an attribute, instead of a number. This leads to a more user-friendly and practical notation. A tuple in the relational model is formally defined as a finite function that maps attributes to values. For example, player a Harry, score a 25, in this notation. Attributeer euro value pairs may appear in any order. The distinction between tuples in the relational model and those in set theory is only superficial. 
The above example can be interpreted as a two-tuple if an arbitrary total order is imposed on the attributes and then the elements are distinguished by this ordering rather than by the attributes themselves. Conversely, a two-tuple may be interpreted as relational model tuple over the attributes. In the relational model, a relation is a finite set of tuples all having the same finite set of attributes. This set of attributes is more formally called the sort of the relation, or more casually referred to as the set of column names. A tuple is usually implemented as a row in a database table, but see relational algebra for means of deriving tuples not physically represented in a table. Type theory. In type theory, commonly used in programming languages, a tuple has a product type. This fixes not only the length, but also the underlying types of each component. Formally. And the projections are term constructors. The tuple with labeled elements used in the relational model has a record type. Both of these types can be defined as simple extensions of the simply typed lambda calculus. The notion of a tuple in type theory and that in set theory are related in the following way, if we consider the natural model of a type theory, and use the Scott brackets to indicate the semantic interpretation, then the model consists of some set such that, and the interpretation of the basic terms is, the tuple of type theory has the natural interpretation as in tuple of set theory. The unit type has a semantic interpretation the zero tuple. See also, arity, exponential object, formal language, OLAP, multidimensional expressions, prime K tuple, relation, triple space, notes. References, the set theory definitions herein are found in any textbook on the topic, for example.